Hello everyone, this is a very special little section of the trucking journey that I like to call a closer look at roadkill. Ooh, that smells. But people, this is an armadillo that didn't make it across the road. But I've never been up close to one of these before. That was a strange looking animal. Sort of looks like a turtle and something else. But these used to not be in South Carolina or in the Southeast for that matter, but in the last few years, they have been. I think this is a male. But we're gonna wrap this closer look up at Roadkill cause he's a stinky little sucker. Sorry, buddy. But look who is riding with me today. Boom! What's up, buddy? You having fun riding with Daddy? But we are headed back into Abbeville now. And Boone, I want to go grab some lunch. And maybe a beverage. I don't know if they'll let me take you in there. I need to get Boone registered as a service animal. And then I think you could take him anywhere. Because, Boone, it's a little warmer than I was expecting it to be today. It's probably, I don't know, 80 degrees. And Boone was panting for me leaving him in at TJ Maxx. So, Boone, we're either going to have to find a shady spot and me roll the windows down, me take you in, or me take you home. Make a train, take a dirt road I Make a stop on a dime Make a wonder which way to go Here I am at the Michelin in Greenville. When I was checking into the gate, I heard um, the guard was talking to somebody on the CB about there's an electrical fire here at, at Michelin. Well, no worries. Michelin's not going to burn down and interrupt our, our freight running. It was put out. But it, it made me think of something. Any of you guys ever heard of, I think it was Sweet George Brown or something? <laughs> There's this <laughs> news story, right? There's some kind of apartment fire. Okay, I'm gonna do my best to reenact it for you guys. So I woke up to go get me a cold pop and I thought somebody was barbecuing. I said, oh Lord Jesus, it's a fire. I didn't grab my shoes or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my life, and then the smoke got me. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> if you hadn't seen it, I don't know exactly what to search for. Maybe ain't nobody got time for that and watch the video. It's very, very funny. But enough of funny times. Let's get rolling, people. Make a on which way to go. Make a man change his mind She's a lawyer's queen A trucker's dream With a baseball outfit for a queen A genuine, a different kind of fine Cadillacs and caviar Well that ain't how she rolls Implants and tummy tucks She sure don't need those I have made it to Tennessee I'm at the Loves and Dandridge I'm gonna fuel up and Go ahead and do my 30 minute break. I got a little over seven hours left on my 11 hour clock. And then after this, I will drive straight on through till I get to Siva in Louisville. Which I think that's how you're supposed to say it, like the people up there. But I used to call it Louisville. And I hear a, a lot of other people do. But it sort of spelt like it's Louisville. So who knows? Well, good morning, people. I am waking up. It is a Monday in Kentucky. I didn't get to make it to the shipper that I'm headed to now last night because of delays at SEVA. I guess I need to update you guys on something. I talked about in my last video that I put in a request to get on the Texas fleet, you know, to go back and forth to Texas. Well, I'm not saying it's not going to happen. I had some of the discussions with, um, people that make that decision and kind of what I was told for now is they I'm too valuable 
as a regional driver and I'm needed here and there's about a shortage of 12 drivers that's needed on uh, I think they call it EOM I don't know it's a combination of some letters but it's a, a dedicated group of drivers for our most important clients that require on-time delivery um, Michelin is the one that I tend to be hauling for which goes up to Ford which Ford is cranking out some vehicles I'm not sure about the Ford trucks but the Ford escapes a thousand vehicles a day that come off the assembly line that go to out the car lots all over America and all over the world well each one of them has five tires can't forget about the spare and so they need a lot of tires you know on the regular basis and well Michelin is one of the providers if not the only provider for for new Fords so you know that's a steady type of thing and I developed a reputation since I've been at GNP as a dependable driver and you know the main reason is I want to make money but I have been in the sleeper now 10 hours and 36 minutes so it is time to start a pre-trip. She sure don't need those. She's a cool drink of water when the summer's me. Oh, then to those of Levi jeans. She's country as the day is long. She make a train, take a dirt road. I make a stop on a dime. Oh my goodness. This is not good. Here's my truck which is 70 foot long with the trailer. Now, looking at it on the map, I've got to go this way. Now, my Ram McNally, for some reason, is telling me to go this way. But, back up here where, if I take a left, the route of my trailer tire, there is a ditch. Look how deep that is. This turn, which drops off severely, if I try to make a lift, that ain't gonna work. To go right, there's a bridge with another big ditch. Look at that elevation change. Look, there's a cross for the last truck driver who tried this maneuver. And to top it all off, there's no cell coverage out here. I hope this video makes it to upload. All right, I've got my plan. I ain't gonna be able to show it to you guys, but I'm gonna go straight here start hugging the right side and turn it as hard as I can to go to the left man there's all kind of elevation changes and ditches this is not a spot for a truck but the only way I can get out of here is to get out of here Woo I made it I don't know what's coming I still got two miles to go Make him wanna which way to go Make a man change his mind She's a lawyer's queen and a trucker's dream With a baseball outfit for a queen A genuine, a different kind of fire I got excited too soon I'm in another situation guys the way I need to go to get to Maker's Mark is this way. And then there's another 90 degree, well there's another turn that goes to the left, but look at this. See that stop sign and that pole right there? And that's as far as I can go because of that fence. Trailer's gonna tag all three of those things. And then there's a ditch there too. And taking a left, which that's the only choice, because I damn sure can't back through what, what I just came through. I don't care who you are. 
that is not happening. You guys don't even know how crazy and tight it was. Is to make this lift, which is not going to be easy with that embankment right there, and this is far as I can go. But that seems doable as long as I start this way and then come back. And the trailer's going to be uneasy, uh, uneven. Hopefully, it won't flip over. I'm empty, so I won't have any weight shift in me. But there is so much road ahead this way. Like, I'm miles from a major highway. I see why Maker's Mark is an aged whiskey now, because it takes the truck driver so long to get there. Okay. I made that turn, and I just talked to this mechanic here. I think I'm good. I'm just going straight ahead. I'm going to catch actually a real road and take a left, and I'm not getting on Maker's Mark Road again. That'll take me right back where I just came from. I'm going to go through the town of Loretta, and apparently there's a highway entrance that goes to Maker's Mark instead of trying to come in the back way. The little road I turned off of originally didn't have this sign, but everyone after it did. They need one on that road too. But hopefully I'll be in the clear soon. GPS is still trying to take me that crazy way. Look at that highway right above it. But we're almost there, people. Woohoo! Beautiful! An actual two-lane road. And ramming now they want me to take a left here on Osborne. Can suck it. No way. Ah, it's, for some reason there's a truck weight violation on this road. That's what's screwing Rand McNally up. Apparently, he thinks I can't go over this bridge. Look at Rand McNally. Up here where I'm going to take a left, it's telling me to take a right, and now it's 38 miles away. Maker's Mark Distillery! Woohoo! Found home of Maker's Mark. I tell you, I could go for a couple of shots of Maker's Mark right now. All right, it's here somewhere. But there it is, Maker's Mark. Well, guys, here we are at Maker's Mark, and I am backed up to the dock. One thing that's a little different here, I didn't have to open my trailer doors. I backed up and oh, hey, their they're setup's a little different. I open them up from the inside. All right, the doors are open and the trailer's empty, but soon it will be filled with some of the finest whiskey that's produced in America. We're in the warehouse now. They have every product that Maker's Mark makes, which every drop of Maker's Mark that's sold anywhere in the world comes from right here in the holler. But they offer tours where you can go through and you know they start with like corn and wheat to uh, produce it and then you know they barrel it and then you know Maker's Mark puts wax on the you know the top of it. But you guys want to see if how much we can see ah, there's a barrel ah. that gum it my battery is flashing on the camera so I'm gonna put this thing on charge and well maybe we'll continue this tour well sorry people they got me loaded pretty quick so there's not going to be any maker's mark factory tour and i could park now and do one they say it's about a half hour but i've spent enough time riding through the country today but now i'm just going in here to get my paperwork well that's what's in the box well they've given me directions to get to lexington kentucky which is where the interstate is and my Rand McNally directions are nothing like this. 
I'm gonna follow the ones they gave me because Rand McNally was not my friend earlier today. There goes a Maker's Mark tour van. What a day, people. But it is another day in the books and some more dollars made. I didn't hit my 500 mile goal for today. My hub mile says 485 is actually what I drove. Paid miles is gonna be less than that because I did some unnecessary driving. But before we wrap episode 66 up, I wanna to talk to you guys about something. Now, I was reflecting back and I'm not the first guy to have a tough time getting a maker's mark because GPS's take you screwed up directions. I heard you know numerous times from the few farmers that I stopped and talked to that told me how many truckers they had seen doing the same thing and uh, I came out pretty good. I didn't knock any fences down or, or damage anything or have to call a tow truck or anything like that so, like some of the others. But I got to and I've been wondering about this for a while because I noticed my Rand McNally would take me the long way in certain situations or when I would not do what it said because I know it would pop up something about a weight violation on the road that I'm on. There's a way to fix that guys. Um, from your main screen if you go to truck tools and then go to truck info you can adjust what I like to call the parameters uh, say like the size of your truck and the weight of the load I had a 53 foot trailer and I you know every trip it routes me for is 80,000 pounds and even though you know I would get these weight violation things pop up on my GPS screen I wouldn't see any signs such as that and some of your smaller bridges have you know some kind of weight thing in the GPS but you know we can ride over them and it's not gonna fall through so if you're running into the same type of problem with that once again main screen truck tools truck info there's several different ones the width of the trailer the height of the trailer the weight of the trailer you can adjust all those things and it may work a little better for you but I know I probably lost a few people within the first minute of this episode. I mean, I showed a dead armadillo. Who does that? I do that, and I told you guys several episodes ago about my fascination with armadillos cause up until just a couple of years ago, I don't know, I thought armadillos were in Texas or, or somewhere, not in the Carolinas or the Southeast. But I've got good news for you. Here's a happy armadillo, give him the thumbs up. And if you like this video, please do like the armadillo. This armadillo, not the one at the, uh, the beginning of the episode. But until next time, please be safe out there and keep on trucking. The man changes mind. A lawyer's queen, a trucker's dream. A baseball outfit for a queen. Genuine, a different kind.